So Paul from G.I. Joburg had me do a little toy mission for him today. And I thought I'd use the opportunity to take a little whip around an Australian toy shop. The name? Toy Mate, of course. <laughs> now, Toys R Us Australia folded around the same time as it did in the UK and the United States. But fortunately there are some holdouts. Toy Mate is one, Toy World is another. Uh, these are dedicated toy stores and they do take you back. Now, Hot Wheels, when they're doing licensed products like Knight Rider and Masters of the Universe to a lesser extent, absolute smart bomb. I would have lapped that up as a child. Certainly beats the generic Corvettes and Lamborghinis. This thing is somewhat tempting. Batman, big play set that transforms into a Batman. Lego obviously has a strong showing. Why you would want to buy a pair of Adidas shell toes in Lego, I'll never know. But hey, I'm not a Lego guy. Harry Potter's well represented. Hell, they've got everything. Everything. Lego is like the Disney of toys. Varying scales, varying skill levels, that Razor Crest is terrific. Mario joins the party. You can buy a typewriter. Okay. <laughs> this is the more junior end of the store. PJ Masks, all that jazz. Uh, what are those puppies called? <laughs> Paw Patrol, of course. Pink Isle goodies. But there, dead ahead. <laughs> Beyond that woman is the uh, the aisle, the section that we are most concerned with. Boys action toys. Anybody a fan of these turtles slash Cobra Kai smash ups? I think it's a fantastically interesting product. Um, does that F-35 have a swing wing feature? Okay. <laughs> Not a bad shape for a jet, unfortunately the cockpit doesn't open. Um, this is another way of getting these same old chap may molds. This stuff just never dies. Unfortunately, neither does the AB Shark, which I think we can all agree is a shoe in for G.I. Joe. Jurassic Park is also on this side of the store. Not bad if you're a JP fan. It looks like you're finally getting a, a wide range of products uh, catering to the adult collector. Godzilla and King Kong. Oh, goodness gracious. Empty shelves, really? Huh, <laughs> next to the pops, of course. Yeah. The less that's said about those, the better. But that, my goodness. Gorgeous. 75,500 pieces. More. Some G1 Transformers represented in pops still ain't gonna tempt me. Mmm, nice livery. It's busy, I like it. It's bold. G1 Transformers represent. It's a great looking Megatron banner. Hmm. <laughs> Any fans of Power Rangers Lightning uh, collection? I was about to say series. Yeah, I mean, terrific stuff on offer. I, um,. I'm glad I collect a very narrow vista when it comes to toys because you can pull with a lot of cash. Now this intrigued me. It's a lunar module that will accommodate two G.I. Joe size figures. Uh, so if I was in a sort of a more branched out mode, I wasn't being a purist O-ring G.I. Joe guy, these would be great additions. I might still want to pick them up. These are also three and three quarter inch uh, scale. League of Legends figures. So yeah, if you have an open mind and you want to build forces in various varied ways, the toys do exist. You can see potential in anything. 
Ghostbusters Afterlife. These are the Fright, Fright Features figures. I think the Fright Feature is part of the Ghost gimmick. But I mean, it's a lot of value for 15 Australian dollars. Not a bad, bad set. Okay, we're starting to get a bit warmer. <laughs> I was very tickled to see Napoleon Dynamite action figure. Nice. Oh, a surprise. G.I. Joe classified. More Pimp Daddy Destras than one could ever need. Uh, Snake Eyes uh, in duplicates. Duke. Okay, so it seems like the early guys are all there. And just when you thought that uh, all we were going to see were the good guys, A1 original flavor Destro hiding in the back. Nice. Uh, still not on my radar though. Stay, Snake. Bad Snake. <laughs> this Halo line also has me intrigued. They interact nicely with a 3 and 3 quarter inch Joe. Um, though everything is obviously still going to be scaled to accommodate the Spartan, which will always be bigger than a 1 to 18 standard figure. So it's kind of awkward. It doesn't really scream out to me, buy me, buy me, and put GI Joes in me. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. I think we finally found the, to the Twiddles. Okay, we're not looking for those. No, no, no. Paul is interested in retro stuff and retro stuff only. No, not quite. Though these are very tempting. They, they're very nicely priced. Oh, that's the one. That is it. The party wagon. Hey. A blast from the past. Now, I wonder how it stacks up to the original. Presumably, it's identical? I don't know. Reissues and repros are oftentimes beset with slight quality variations that set them apart. So, and it's a way for original purists to kind of keep the new buyers down. Hopefully the gap has narrowed because we are sitting in a precipice with G.I. Joe in fact. Like, we're going to start seeing our vintage O-rings back on store shelves. I'm predicting that much. It's not going to be a Pulse exclusive. So. Hopefully, they will feel like vintage toys. They'll pass the, the touch test. Uh, because, yeah, it would be a shame if a purist like me is stopped short of actually buying them at retail because they don't feel the same or they don't feel right. I don't know. What are your predictions with this vintage O-ring relaunch? Will it be a Pulse exclusive? Or will we see them on pegs? I like the look of these 90s or late 90s, early 2000s, Fantastic Four. No, it was the mid 90s. The old school Toy Biz toys from the animated show. And Legends, they're doing gangbusters, aren't they? Whether it be movie likenesses or this rogue, which caught my eye. I was around to read Age of Apocalypse and Rogue's arc as the Sarah Connor slash mother of the future made an already favorite character of mine just like her storyline was on top for me plus that shade of green is so striking i had never seen this red skull version so if i was a legends collector uh, yeah i'd be parting with some cash today dinobot seems like a big peg warmer staff picks um no one's gonna part with 50 dollars for, for that guy i don't think or well, they haven't been at least He's not going anywhere. And that's it for the boys' toys. We got models, we got Hot Wheels, we got things. I'm very pleased that the store didn't uh, have a problem with me taking a video. And I think that's all I have to say about that, guys. Thanks for watching this little tour. I wasn't going to do the entire circuit. Uh, of course, we'd be looking at a bunch of stuff that doesn't really interest us. Thanks for watching guys, let me know in the comments below what you think the fate of the G.I. Joe O-Ring Retro Relaunch is. Are we going to see them in toy stores? Yo, Joe Berg.